They're right there. Are they attacking each other? Oh, I'm gonna open this up and boom, bang. Ah, hee hee hee. How's it going guys? Spy here and welcome back to another Mist survival episode. And today what I want to do in Mist is I want to build a bunch more of these walls around the base. It costs 12 logs and a bunch of wood and nails to be able to build them. So I'm gonna have to gather all of this stuff really fast. Luckily, we have the saw machine right here, which allows Kate here to help us cut the wood, which saves a lot of time. Let's get collecting. So I need to chop a bunch of these trees down to get logs. And then I also need to get a lot of metal. So this might be a little easier because nails are really easy to make. Oh, what the heck? I chopped this tree down and there's another one inside. I think there's multiple in here. Oh, that's sweet. I don't know why it's doing that, but I'm all right with that. Just keep chopping this. Maybe there's infinite trees under here. I don't know what's going on. Oh, okay. Well, we got a bunch of logs over that tree and we got all of these other ones around here. That's the good thing about... What? All right. That's the good thing about... <laughs> what's going on? Tree, just land. Uh, just land. I need the wood. Come on. Um... All right, I guess we only got a little bit of logs out of that tree. Um, I don't know what I was saying anymore. But did it finally land? It finally landed right there. Perfect. <laughs> oh yeah, luckily I live at this farmhouse here because there's a bunch of trees around us. And that just saves a lot of time from running around and everything. The bad part is we need a big wall to defend it. So there we go. We probably have 10 logs and that gets us, get this. Not even one wall yet. This is gonna take forever, guys. Hopefully I don't run out of water and food while I'm doing this, that would really suck. Okay, so I got a bunch of these logs here, and I think this equals, get this, one wall. That's it. <laughs> and my hunger and my thirst go down every time I take a swing with my ax. So I might run out of water and food eventually. I got a lot of these. <laughs> Coca-Cola's, beef cans. So I might be good for a little bit, but not too long. So I don't think we're gonna be able to build the whole wall around the base this episode. It might be a procedural kind of thing. Like every episode we'll get a few walls done and then eventually further into the series, our walls will be complete and we'll be safe from bandits and zombies. Let's see how many walls we can make with this. Let's build another wall. I don't need one with a ladder. Let's get this one. We'll throw this one over here. I'm gonna turn this one kind of like this. It's gonna have to go like this. All right, and build it up. Boom. Oh, look at that. That's awesome. Let's get Kate getting us one craft. And let's make this wall again. There we go. <laughs> We want enough room in here so that we can pull our car into the garage because I want to use that garage for my car here. This is probably enough space to drive the car in. And look at my thirst go down. Jeez, I just drank a lot of water and now I'm dehydrated again. Well, look at that, three walls. That's looking pretty good. Okay, well I gotta go drink a bunch more. So I think for now I'm going to build one more wall right here and then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna try to build a refrigerator right here. I need to get one gear. I think I have enough electronic parts, but this refrigerator will allow us to store our food and water in it so it lasts longer and I can hunt a bear over there and it will make sure that bear meat doesn't go to waste again because the last bear we hunted, I, I put the food in the cabinet and it rotted away. Yep, that was smart. It would be cool to see a feature where you could make your NPCs go out and collect wood. That would be super helpful, as well as maybe different types of walls and gates. This game is still in early access. The developers seem to be pretty active, so I could see them adding quite a bit of cool new things in the future. And we have a flying tree again. Come on, just land. There we go. And we have enough for one more wall. I think that's quite a bit of progress for one episode. We still have all of this area though over here to build walls on and at the back. The back should be easier though because we don't really need a huge space back there. Just enough to cover like the chicken coop right here. Are my chickens all gone? Chickens, are you still alive? Chicken. Oh, <gasps> we got one Bobby. Where'd all my chickens go? Oh no. Bobby, where'd all your friends go? Do chickens just die? Aw, oh, I'm gonna have to go find more chickens. That sucks. We got one Bobby back here. Where'd the other ones go? They might have gotten eaten by 
a fox or something. <laughs> I don't even think there's foxes. They're going to be adding wolves in the future, though. Let's put this one right here. Oh, that looks awesome. It's kind of a tight squeeze back here. I don't want to waste a lot of my resources on the walls, so a tight kind of corridor here is fine. The car should still still be able to fit. So build this up. We're going to test it out once this wall's in place. We'll park the car inside the garage where it's supposed to be, and it is actually getting pretty late, so that's a really good time to leave the walls off. Boom. All right. Hop in the car. Drive. Turn it on. Watch out, Kate. I don't want to run you over. I might run her over. Um, Back up. Back up. Okay, watch out. I can't see you. My mirrors don't work. Look at that. Works perfectly. Okay, stop the car. Let's hop out. Look at this. Wait, there's another gear here. The gear respawned. <gasps> That's perfect. Then I don't have to make my gear for the fridge. And we just need a bunch of components and electronic parts for the fridge. And we are set. Okay, Kate, get on inside because it's going to be dark soon. The zombies are going to come out and they're going to eat all of us. Thirsty during the night. Let's drink our water and I need a bunch of food. Yeah, we're going to have to get a fridge to make sure that we don't run out of food because I want to get some good bear meat. I'm going to run out of this stuff eventually. So the fridge is going to be awesome. Okay, do I have electronic parts in here? Oh, look at that, three. And now I just need components. Okay, well, I'm gonna go and scrap some cars. So we got some extra scrap and stuff. Maybe I'll get some extra for the walls. We're gonna take the car and we're gonna go. Hopefully the car does not break down mid-journey. It hasn't yet. This is a pretty reliable car. Maybe I'll go back that way because there's some cars over at the hotel, the motel, whatever you wanna call it. Oh, there's one right here. Perfect. Let's get out and let's break this down. Boom. A lot of metal. Okay, do we have enough for a fridge yet? Not quite. So we're going to have to go find another car. Plus, it's pretty useful. We'll save some for the walls when we need them. Let's go down over here. There's probably still some cars. Um, yeah, there's one way over here. I hear a wild chicken down over there. There's one way over there. Awesome. Oh, and the bandit camp is up over here, too. I wonder if we can go back over there. Uh, they might be respawned. Then we can grab their weapons and break them down for more parts. There's a lot of ways to get metal. And I'm going to journey on over here and see if those bandits are back. We can get some spare guns out of it. I hear a chicken. I hear a wild chickaroony. Are the bandits back? They are. Sweet. Okay, so let's get our gun. Oh, I'm going to use my little pistol here. Um, let's take them out one by one, and boom, one down. There's a lot of bandits in there. Okay, that guy heard me. He's coming over here. He despawned. We gotta be quick about this because their bodies do disappear. Two. Three. And let's get these last two guys really quick. There we go, and one left. Got him. Awesome. That's all of them. So let's grab their stuff really quick. Oh, a lot of food. This guy had a lot of shotgun ammo. Did he drop his gun though? I don't think he did. This guy dropped his, sweet. Eat this food. And this guy did not drop his gun. That's all right. Oh, a full bottle of water and some scrap laying back here. It's awesome that all of this stuff respawns. Oh, I think this guy's body disappeared. Dang it. Well, I'm gonna go back in the house and see if anything in here respawned. Nope. I didn't notice there's a guy in there. <gasps> there's a guy inside. How do I make a lockpick? We might have to go make a lockpick at home and then come back to rescue this guy. And then we should have two people. Oh, that's going to be awesome. I just want to break this car really quick to get the excess components. Wow. Oh, this one had an engine? What? It dropped a, a brand new car engine. Cool. That's awesome. I didn't know you could get components for cars from that. Okay, we're home. Um, crowbar. Hey, we can make a crowbar. Awesome. You know what? We're going to do that. Need to drop something, though, really quick. Craft one of those. Boom. We have a crowbar. I'm going to drop some of my resources off here so I can grab some more stuff. I don't really need all of this stuff in my inventory. Oh, jeez, Kate. You scared me. I saw her in the corner of my eye. It scared me. Okay, so let's go rescue that guy and come back home. I didn't even know he was there. Well, now we're going to have two people. In our little colony. I don't think they need to eat or drink. Maybe they do. Maybe my food's just disappearing. I'm, I'm not even realizing. Here we are. I'm here to rescue you. Let's break this open with a crowbar. Proceed. Five minutes. Will do. Does it just break it off? Boom. Hi. How's it going? Look at all this loot. 
Um, hold on a second. Before I rescue you, I want to loot all of this stuff. Holy man. There's a lot of stuff in here. Oh, <gasps> another helmet. Wait, there's two here. My helmet broke. And I don't think I have any armor on at all. And yeah, I just got a shirt and some boots. So now we got two helmets. Electronic parts. Take that. Gears. More electronic parts. Car battery. Wow, there's a lot of stuff here. Why can't I grab that? There we go. All right, let's rescue this guy. And we're going to send him back home. Boom. Yeah. Look at all this ammo I picked up in here. Jeez. Glad I came here. A lot of spare ammo and everything. I think we got pretty much everything in here. I don't think this stuff respawns. No. Oh, let's break this open. Yeah, I forgot about that. What's in here? Probably some more ammo. A shotgun? Well, I don't need that shotgun. Um, I can take it, though, to break it down into parts. Let's harvest that. Bang. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh. All right, well, I'm going to sleep on the floor for now, and hopefully the zombies don't come and eat me. Sleep on floor for one hour. Oh, no. Uh-oh. They know I'm here. Just go away. Can I just sleep on the floor, please? One hour. E. Uh, don't come in here. This is scary. Do I just wait it out and let them just die in the sunlight? I think so. Okay, just keep sleeping for like, I don't know, a couple minutes. That doesn't do anything. I'm going to open the door. They're right there. Are they attacking each other? They're attacking each other. What? That's so weird. I've never seen them do that. Well, I'm going to open this up and boom. Bang. Ah, e, e, e. Close that. There's more coming. I shot two and two more came. This is scary, guys. I'm stuck in this closet. Luckily, I got in here, hey? Eh? Or they probably would have destroyed me by now. The mist won't go away. I think it's been a couple hours in here. Okay, I think the mist might be clearing up now, hopefully. It did. Okay, are we good? Zombies? Zombies are down. Zombies are down. We're free to go now. Is there any food here that dropped? Uh, oh, look at this. Okay, I'll take that ammo. I already got antibiotics and stuff. Okay, head to the car before I get trapped out here again. Okay, after a bit of waiting and hiding in a corner, we are finally home. Hopefully everyone's all right. Uh, yeah, looks like it. He's alive. Sweet, is Kate alive? Kate, are you here? Kate, <gasps> okay, she's right there. We need to give that guy a gun. Kate already has a gun. Grab this, they have infinite ammo. Just gotta reload it with this one bullet. Let's give him this gun. There we go, it's on his back. So now we can build our refrigerator. Which one do I want? There's this nice one right here and then this older one. Oh, okay, so this one costs a little bit more parts. You know what, we're gonna go with the big one. And we're going to throw this right here in this empty spot. I think that's actually where a fridge is supposed to go. Right there. And let's build this up. It is complete. So we could throw stuff in here. We're going to name this fridge. Because it's a fridge. And we can throw stuff in there and it should work. Oh, it shows the temperature. 11 degrees Celsius. What happens if we go over here and turn it on though? It's going down in temperature. So we could throw our food in here. Canned stuff lasts a long time, but you can see some of this stuff is pretty old. So we're going to try to throw everything we can in there that does go bad eventually. And there we go. Fridge is full with goods that are going bad eventually. Once I do get bear meat or fresh food, I'll just throw in here and replace the canned food with it. We're going to run out of this stuff eventually. So I'm going to have to do some hunting in the future. If you guys want to see more hunting, let me know. How long does this last right here? Four days and 21 hours. Well, I actually don't need this on because the stuff in the fridge is mostly canned goods, except that potato. So let's sleep for a few hours. And there we go. Look at them. They're sleeping on the floor. <laughs> well, anyways, guys, I'm going to be building up this wall in future episodes. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure to smash that like button. Let me know down below what you would like to see next. I'm going to continuously build on this wall every episode. We got a fridge. We got some other stuff. What I really need next, though, is probably a water purifier because I'm going to run out of water sooner or later. It's pretty easy to make, I think. You DIY water purifier. I just need to get a bucket, which I don't have at the moment. But thank you guys for watching and subscribing. And remember, stay sweet. Bye.